Okay, so if you have a pool with a large amount of leaves and debris in it, uh, you might want to get yourself a large net like this gator net. It's about twice the size of a regular skimmer and it's very durable and strong. It resists a lot of uh, pull, weight of the debris. Uh, the only problem with this, it does get heavy if you get you know, tons of debris in here. Pulling it out of the bottom or from this top skimming um, could be a challenge if you don't have um, the muscle to do it. Um, but it is an excellent net as far as getting a large amount of debris at once. And you can see here that it's just a pretty huge net compared to the regular skimmer one here. You can see it side by side there. It's about twice the size of this one here. See it in action here that it's picking up a large amount of debris at once. So once full with debris, it can be quite heavy, but you can see it picks up a huge amount of debris in your pool. And there's your look at the Gator Net, one of the few products that is still made here in the USA. And here's a fine mesh net. And the good thing about this, it's really good on the surface with little bugs and whatnot. And it's good for small little spas like this here. So it's a little bit more of an effort to get it to go down to the bottom of your pool or spa because it is such a fine mesh. And there are various different nets you can buy that are pretty fine. But you can see here how there's really no holes in it compared to a regular net where it has quite a bit of um, holes that let small particle to breeze through. Again, this is a great net for fine particles you find on top of your pool. And I would recommend having this for your pool or spot. This is a net that I sell to the customers I use myself. It's the Aqua Pro 100. You can buy it online or maybe at a local pool store. What I like about this one, everything is replaceable from the net itself, from the yellow molding that goes on that side, from the handle. So everything can be replaced and gives us a much longer lifespan than your normal throwaway skimmers. So you can just take everything apart and replace the parts. And I use a slightly modified version myself. I have a white retro net and it's a little thinner material which makes it easier to dump the debris out. I'll show you in a moment. And also I use a stainless steel frame versus a regular frame that's in there. The one thing about the retro net that I like is a much thinner materials so I can actually turn inside out very rapidly and empty out the debris. So it's very easy to empty out the debris in here versus the regular net which is a little bit harder to do this. The only risk is if when you're in the pool itself you could actually reverse it on accident and all the debris will come out. You gotta be careful when you use the retro net. And so there's your look at the leaf nets that I use on my route. Hope that was helpful. And one good trick that I use, you can use tile soap or dish soap. You want to spray some on the surface of the water and that will pull all the leaves and debris to the sides of the pool for you. That's an, and it also clarify the water so you can actually see the bottom really good. There's definitely a technique when skimming. You want to start on the edge. You want to kind of hit, you want to kind of hit it pretty vigorously to kind of knock any debris off the tile. You want to go around the pool a couple of times doing this, staying close to the edge. And you don't want to store your net out like this where the sun will hit it all day because that will just destroy the material that it's made out of. So you want to store it in a cool, dry place, somewhere where the sun's not hitting it continuously. 